You're one of our participants of the Aspen Leadership Seminar Philosophy and Practice 2022. Why is value-based leadership currently of such importance to you? Well, what we experience at the moment is uh, with many people, there's a strong desire for purpose. Uh, I think that to some extent, uh, due to the COVID situation, that, that more and more people reflected uh, what they're working for and what the environment is uh, they're working in, but also a matter of the uh, current timing, that, that purpose becomes a key aspect. And I think to allow for a purposeful leadership, it is uh, very critical to have strong values. And value-based leadership, I think, really requires to consider what are my values and how can I translate these values into purpose and uh, encourage my, my people on a special individual purpose, but also on an institutional purpose. And I think it was always important, but uh, what I experienced at the moment, it is particularly becoming more and more important. So I would even say that without value-based uh, reflections and without value-based considerations, it's very difficult to really allow for good leadership in corporates. And what would you say are the greatest challenges to leadership today? Well, we have a couple of, of things ongoing where we're not sure about the, the impact. Uh, we have the current political situation globally, but we also experience a situation where we have distracted supply chains that many of our corporates really impose to, to big challenges. Uh, next to it, in, in Germany, we have questions like uh, the demographic change. We have also the situation that over the next years we experience uh, a lack in, in specific capabilities, especially in the ones in IT, critical ones, or in, in social and healthcare uh, jobs. So I think uh, for the leaders, it's, it's really about the question now, how do I can encourage and ensure that the company's success to um, to attract and retain people in my company to really work uh, together. And that requires a leadership uh, significantly different uh, like it was in the past, I think. It's, it's much more about coaching. It's much more about encouraging. It's really to um, developing people to their best self than it was perhaps 15 years back where the leadership perception was slightly different. Yes, thank you very much. And what would you say makes the Aspen Leadership Seminar so valuable to you? I think it's especially about the diversity. Um, like most of us, uh, you are in a special environment uh, at work, with your family, with your friends. And in many cases, it's quite like-minded. So if you have discussions, often I experience that we all say yes, yes, and we are all on the same, uh, same pace. What I experience here that that due to the diversity in uh, in education, but also in the jobs we do, in um, the experience we had in the past, in age, in in gender, everything, um, there are very different perspectives uh, on one topic, and that is for me especially very valuable to to think about. And, and uh, even today. I was quite rock solid, I would say, for 20 years on a special uh, perception I had about a key topic, which changed today. And that is one of my key takeaways for this deck. And I'm, I'm really glad that I had the opportunity to, to reflect on what I thought 20 years. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. And we're thrilled to have you here. Thank you. <laughs>